Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a monthly reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Happy New Year's to you. I hope all is well. I hope you all had a wonderful, joyous transition into this 2021. Let's see what the energy is like for Scorpio. Spirit, give me a message for Scorpio. The death card, Scorpio. That's you. Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles. The Wheel. Eight of Swords. Page of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. The Star card. Judgment. Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, Three of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, let me look at this energy. Here I go again mm -hmm. with you. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, we got a, a death. We got a rebirth. We got a death. Some of you guys feel like you have escaped death. Some of you guys feel like this is a new opportunity. This is a new birth. This is a fresh you. Some of you guys feel like you've been held. You've been through hell and back. You're starting over. This is a new you. Some people are not even going to recognize you. Some, some people are not even going to know who you are. This is a completely new you. You guys are doing it your way. This is a new beginning. You had a lot of sneaky behavior around you. Sheeps and wolf clothing. Somebody tried to play you. Somebody tried to take advantage of your kindness. For a long time, for many, for for some of y'all, for years, you're you're holding you're holding back now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You hold them. You see how the four pinnacles. You see how she holding that that purse close to her chest. This is what you guys are doing. You holding back your energy. You holding back your love. You holding back your money. You holding back your possessions. You holding back everything. You are tight lipped about everything. You are not letting the left hand know what the right hand is about to do. What the right hand know what the left hand is about to do. You guys are making some serious changes. This is a complete new beginning in your life right now. You got the will. You got the the will of um, fortune in your favor. The will is turning in your favor. This is the universe sending this your way. This is good luck. This is good fortune coming in your direction. You guys have been through a boatload of shit. A boatload. And the universe is rewarding you. You have huge blessings coming your way. Some of you guys might want a new car. You're going to get it with the world of fortune right here. Everything you touch is going to turn to gold. The universe is on your side. They are blessing you tenfold. Some of you guys felt stuck for years. Stuck in the... And some kind of depression. But it's in reverse. So you're not. You're not anymore. In reverse, you never was. You see how the mirror, uh, she looks bound. She looks tied up. But outside the mirror, she's not. It was always all in your head. No, you wasn't. You wasn't bound. You wasn't tied up. And you're certainly not now. Somebody has been watching you. A lot of people are watching you. Ooh, they're watching to see your next move, Scorpio. They want to see what you're up to next. Somebody's all in your business. So you may, you have an ability to make a way out of nowhere. You land on your feet each and every time. People like to s sit back and watch you move. They're watching everything about you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This is celebration. This is joy. This is what they're watching. They're watching you do well. They're watching you succeed. They're watching you... Uh, Ascend to a higher level. They're watching you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you blow their mind every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got the star card right here. This is wish fulfillment. This is your prayers being answered, Scorpio. You have some blessings being sent to you by spirit. Your prayers are being answered. This is wish fulfillment. You will get all that you desire. Things will definitely go your way. You're making a judgment call. You made a judgment call to make yourself a priority. You made a judgment call to put yourself first. You made a judgment call to find you important. You see her spirit ascending? She's growing. This person is Joma. This person has grew. 
This person is growing, spiritually growing, mentally, spiritually, physically. You're doing well. You're making yourself a priority. You have made a judgment call to make you the prize, to look at yourself as the prize. You're the winner. You're the prize. You're the jewel from heaven. Somebody tried to play you. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands. Somebody tried to play you. Somebody thought you were sweet. Somebody thought it was easy. Somebody thought they, could, they could manipulate you and get over on you. Somebody tried to play you when they turned around and played their damn self. Now you're rejecting them. They pissed off. Now you're rejecting them with the four cups. Now you're not giving them the time of day. They don't know what to do. You're happy. You're in your own space now. You're doing you. You're celebrating with friends and family. You're celebrating with like spirits, like-minded people. You're no longer embracing any negativity. You're no longer allowing it in your presence. This is change. This is rebirth. That's the death card. This is a whole new you. This is a new beginning. You're not having it, Scorpio. You are doing you. You are making yourself a priority. You are making yourself happy. And you're only surrounding yourselves with energies just like that. If the energy is negative, if it's, if it's toxic, you're getting rid of it. You're cutting it out. I'm going to pull another deck just to see what else the spirit has to say to you, Scorpio. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's try the elimination oracle card. Give me, give me a message for the Scorpio spirit. Give me a message for the Scorpio. We got storm is brewing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some shit is about to hit the fan. Somebody's feelings is about to get hurt. Somebody is in for a rude awakening. This is going to be new behavior for somebody. This is going to be a new you for somebody, and they are not going to take it well. Mm-hmm. This is a new you this new year. You have made some uh, new year resolutions that you're going to stick to. You have made some changes in your life that everybody is going to just accept or move on. Mm -hmm. You may have a soulmate energy um, around you. One of your, one of you, somebody near you may be a soulmate. They might be asking for forgiveness from you. Mm -hmm. Substance might be affecting their life. They may drink too much. They may party too much. Or you yourself could be drinking too much. You yourself could be partying too much. This is the first start. This is the first start that I see. You guys ain't having it no other way, Scorpio. This is a new beginning for you. This is a new fresh start for you. You guys are happy. You're content. You're in love. Even if it's just love with yourself. Reliving the past. You're see, you're trying to come out of this energy right now. You're trying to forget the past. This is the part that you're trying to move out of. This, this reading started out with the death card. That's, the death card is a new cycle. Is, is cycle's ending. That's a new beginning. That's a rebirth. You're leaving this cycle behind. You're no longer reliving that past. You didn't like it. It was toxic. It was dysfunctional. And that's the part you're trying to forget. That's what you, wanna, that's what you no longer want to remember. You no longer want to be in that space. Some of you guys were sick over it. Some of you guys' health was affected. And you're like, uh -uh, I got to get myself together. I got to start doing me. Some of you guys are planning a long-distance trip for a relaxation to recharge your battery, your spiritual battery, so that you can continue on in peace. You have obstacles ahead. Somebody might have tried to block you, stop you, but they can't. You jump over it. You go around it. You come up with a different game plan. No one can stop a Scorpio. They're too cunning. They're too clever, and they know how to keep a secret. They walk in silence. They don't tell their business. You're receiving a message. You're receiving a message. It could be this reading right here. But you're going to receive a message that's going to benefit you. You're going to receive a message that's going to give you strength to continue on. Some of you, feel, some of you guys are determined. I can do it. Some of you guys are determined to do it. Y'all don't want, you're not going to have it no other way. You're tired of playing victim. You're tired of your current circumstances. You say it's got to be more than life than this. And you're unapolog and you're not apologizing about it. You're not going to say I'm sorry about it neither. This is you. Somebody may be sorry to you. They might be sorry to you for the shit that they did to you. But you can care less now because you, you moved on. you like, thanks anyway. But it's over. I'm doing me now. I'm making myself a priority. Y'all, rejection. Mm-hmm. You're rejecting a lot of nonsense out your life, Scorpio. You no longer want it. 
I'm going to try another deck, see if there's any messages for you guys. Let's see if the spirit got any messages. Let me see. We got called from y'all. Something is dead. Something is dead. Some of you guys may have lost a loved one. You may have lost a friend. Um, the uh, relationship may have ended, and you feel that it cannot be resurrected. Some of you got. Some of you could have lost someone that you truly cared about. We got a courtship. Somebody wants to meet you. Somebody wants to greet you. Somebody wants to take you out. Someone wants to get to know you, Scorpio. This is somebody new that you met or you're about to meet. <laughs> we got marriage upside down. Some of you guys don't want to be married anymore. Those of you that's married. Some of you guys want out this marriage. Somebody might be proposing marriage and you say, I don't want to be married. I don't want to get married no more. I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. You have pathway. Some of you guys are choosing a different pathway. You see that light down there? You're following your own inner spirit. You're following your own light. You're following what makes you happy. You're finally doing what's for you. You're finally making yourself a priority, Scorpio. This new, this new year, this, this new, res new year's resolution is making you a priority. It's making you happy. You have made other people happy long enough. You may have children. <sighs> You may have to still worry about your babies, your children, your child. That might be your only one that you're going to focus on. You and your child. And that's it. Damn everybody else. You're going to start making yourself happy. You're tired of trying to please everybody else. We got adjudication. For those of you who may be married, you might be seeking papers for a divorce. You might be going to a judge and he equally separates everything for you and your person. Somebody helpful has been bad. Somebody wasn't feeling good at one time. Somebody was in the bed. It was bedridden. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you feel like you got to lay down because you don't feel good. But it's getting better. You're feeling better. Mm -hmm. Somebody is constantly thinking about you. Somebody is in their thoughts about you. You got somebody heavily thinking about you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a wealthy man. This person is thinking about you heavy. Yeah. They're not. Oh, you, honey, you are of great concern to them. You are of great concern. They are concerned about you, Scorpio. You have made them think about you. They wonder what you're doing. Why are they not calling? What's going on? I can't follow their train of thought. I can't read them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they feel the change. They know there's been a change. They know they have, they know they feel the change. They can fool you, fulfill that you pulled your energy back. They feel it. They know it. They see this change. They feel this change in you. How did you done change everything about you? You got a new glow on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some, somebody feels, you may have somebody in prison. Somebody may be in jail that you used to mess around with. You may have felt in prison met yourself. You might have felt in prison yourself and you are breaking free and you'd be damned if you go back to it. You might have felt like you was locked up for years in this ordeal. And again, some of you could be dating somebody that's locked up and you're tired of running back and forth up to the jail. You're tired of putting money on the books. You're tired of writing letters. You're tired of receiving their phone calls. You're ready to move on. This is not the life you plan for yourself. You help you stressed over it too. This was a great deal of stress for you. And now they in stress. Now they stressing. Now they in despair. They want to know what happened to their Scorpio. Where did they go wrong? What happened? What did I do wrong? How did I lose my Scorpio? Because you know you lose a Scorpio. You lost something good. Mm-hmm. Got expectations. You expecting some greatness to come your way. You expecting something better and you're going to receive it. You're not having anything less. You got some great expectations heading your way, Scorpio, and expect them because they're coming. I hope you enjoyed my reading. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. If you like my message, my reading, please give me a thumbs up. 
like, share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Okay, Scorpio. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.